she does not want to be noticed by the couch. Cows are curious creatures, so they usually come up to her. And when they do, she'll come running back to me full speed and basically make me a human barrier. The first time Winnie met a cow, I took her with me into the paddock and put her down next to me and looked back to see Winnie running in the other direction. Oh, win, win, when he come. She was nowhere to be seen. Every time I tried to repeat this process, the exact same thing would happen and she would just be out of there as fast as she could. I think it can get a bit lonely for her being a really anxious dog. <laughs> so I was really excited to foster a kitten for the first time. I mean, getting used to a kitten was probably way easier than getting used to a massive cow. When we first brought Bobby home, Surprise, surprise, Winnie was terrified and went running in the other direction. Okay, good, good. She didn't know what this tiny little ball of fluff was. It took her probably a day or two to get comfortable with her and realise that this little thing was totally harmless and their friendship started to blossom. <laughs> Winnie, what are you doing? Winnie knew that she had to be super gentle with her. But Bobby had no fear, biting onto her neck, scratching her face. But Winnie just took it in stride and loved her. I think their relationship really helped Winnie's confidence. She did overcome her fear, she did it. After a lot of searching and meeting with potential adopters, we were so excited to have found her her forever home. It was definitely bittersweet knowing that Winnie had to say goodbye to one of her best friends Winnie would search around the house looking for her friend, looking in the bathroom and all of her favourite spots. It was totally heartbreaking. We also knew that Bobby had just gone to the most amazing family. About a year later, Bobby's parents reached out to us and asked if we could look after Bobby for a few weeks. I was really nervous about the meeting again because it had been so long. We let them meet each other through the glass Winnie's tail was wagging and just going 100 miles an hour. Winnie, you're such a good girl. You're so... Instantly, Winnie ran straight up to Bobby and a big hello. It was honestly like no time had passed at all. <laughs> we were just grateful that they could reunite and spend some time together again. Despite being a really anxious dog, Winnie was able to open up her heart and her home to all these little baby animals that we were helping find their forever homes. While she might not be your typical working dog, she definitely takes her job as a foster mum seriously.